Welcome back, folks. I am Brian Lee Durfee. You can see my name right there. Author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart. Both published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press today. I'm going to be reviewing Walter Mosley's third Easy Rollins mystery, and this one is called White Butterfly. Yeah, this came out in 1992. It is the sequel to uh, Devil in a Blue Dress and A Red Death, which I have also reviewed on this channel. You can find those reviews on this channel. So, who is Easy Rollins and Walter Mosley, and what are these books about? First of all, we always review the covers. So, this is the original hardcover of White Butterfly. I love the graphic design you know i'm a big fan of illustration and graphic design so we always talk about covers that i love these are great i like the whole set all of these were done by a, a illustrator named john jinx don't know much about him other than he illustrated these books and they're great they're all great a great matching set of books here however as we move on from book three to the rest of the series, I have the entire Easy Rollins series up here on my shelf here. Right there. The, uh, the covers and the graphic design does change uh, significantly as the series moves on. Uh-oh. I've got a little problem with my, uh, with my camera stand here. Let me see if I can fix it and if the... The camera might, it might fall over halfway through this video. I, let's just hope it doesn't. Okay, so Easy Rollins, mystery number three. Who is Easy Rollins? This um, takes place in 1956. It was written in 1992, but it takes place in 1956. Devil in a Blue Dress took place in about 1949. Um, this one took place in the early 1950s. Now we're in 1956. Easy Rollins is a young black guy living in Los Angeles during this time of racial strife in the city of Los Angeles. I swear this, the, the camera's going to fall, folks. Let me, let me, let me, you know, we'll just do it crooked. We're going to have to do it crooked. Otherwise the camera's going to fall. Anyway. We'll edit all this out. I swear to God, this will all be edited out. Easy Rollins, number three. So, Easy Rollins is, is just a guy living there. He's an ex-World War II veteran, so he's kind of a tough guy. But, but he doesn't really use his tough guy persona a lot in the city because the city is mostly white and black guys that try to act too tough, things don't go well for them. So he sort of, he reigns in a lot of his toughness, even though he could probably kick everyone's ass, right? What happens is there's a bunch of black um, prostitutes, strippers, um, girls that work in brothels, they're all black and they start to get murdered. Well, nobody cares. Nobody cares until there's a white stripper that gets murdered, and then the cops come to Easy Rollins because in these other two books, Easy Rollins was kind of the guy that they would go to to sort of investigate things in the black community because all the cops are white and they're just like, well, most of them are white. Some of them are black, and that's who the, the department sends the black officers to sort of talk Easy Rollins into, hey, will you sort of go down into this underground uh, stripper community and bordello community and, and see what's happening. See if you can get any information, like why maybe these murders are happening. And, and Easy Rollins is quite frankly, no, I'm not going to help you. You didn't give a shit when the black girls were dying. And then a white, a white stripper dies, and now suddenly you want to solve the case. You know, we got a serial killer killing black people. Then, the, then a white girl gets killed, and now, and now suddenly... The department cares. And uh, so Easy Rollins is a character that really distrusts the white people that live around him in Los Angeles, especially the police. And well, pretty much everybody. I mean, he's very distrustful. And with great reason, if you've read these first two books. Now, the cops, they're like, well, you ain't going to help us. Well, you know your friend Mouse. Now, there's another character named Mouse that's in these 
two books, one of the great characters, sort of easy Rollins sidekick, they're like, well, Mouse has got a lot of trouble, and he's in a lot of trouble, and if you don't uh, help us with this investigation, we're gonna um, go ahead and just arrest your little buddy Mouse, and, uh, you know, that's that. And so they sort of kind of frame him into doing the investigation, and then he gets into the investigation of these dead prostitutes slash strippers and things of course go sideways and backwards and ass over teapot from there as most great murder mysteries do the thing that's great about following easy rollins oh shit okay we're still on we're still on folks (laughs) i knew that the stand was gonna fall i knew the stand was gonna fall We might be upside down here. Let me see. I think we're right side up now. I knew the stand. I knew it was going to fall. Oh, my God. We'll edit all this part out. The great thing about the Easy Rollins series and following Easy Rollins around as he investigates these things is just this delicate tap dance he has to do. Being a black guy in a very racist white society. And that's just pretty much... What I love about this, not only that, but Walter Mosley's writing is is dynamite and spot on and just gorgeous to read. So I always recommend these books. I loved book three. Book one and two are great. Book three is just as great. I think they're all equally great. So I'm going to give this a good 9.5. I'll give it about a 9, 9.5 out of 10. This is just a great series. And uh, sorry that everything went shitty for this video, but you know, it is what it is.